is the cost of lies. It's not that we'll mistake them for the truth. The real danger is that if we hear enough lies, then we no longer recognize the truth at all. What can we do then? What else is left but to abandon even the hope of truth and content ourselves instead with stories? Hi, my name is Harini and you're watching More Than Just A Movie where we talk about how films and TV series are so much more than just. The 2019 HBO miniseries Chernobyl tells us the story of one of the worst nuclear disasters to ever occur in the history of mankind. For the purpose of this video, we will not be looking at the historical accuracy of this series, instead looking at it as a creative piece of writing and filmmaking. On the morning of April 26, 1986, one of the nuclear reactors at Chernobyl, a nuclear power plant in USSR, explodes. A phenomenon that was believed to be impossible. It exploded! The core exploded! He's in shock. Get him out of here. Craig Mezin, the writer and creator of the series, decides to follow this question through three characters. Valery Legasov, Boris Stolyarchuk, and Olana Komyuk. Chernobyl won the Golden Globe for Best Television Limited Series and also seven Emmys including Outstanding Limited Series and Outstanding Writing for a Limited Series. But besides all of this, it was an incredibly popular show that garnered a large viewership. Personally speaking, after watching the last episode of Chernobyl, I had to shut it down and kind of take a moment to process all of it. It connected with me so deeply and got me wondering how it got so many of us to relate to a nuclear reactor exploding of all things. Essentially it started because I was fascinated with a simple question. Why did Chernobyl happen? And the truth of that is in my mind more shocking than the actual explosion itself. Why did it explode? The plot of Chernobyl deals with answering this rather technical question. Now, nuclear physics isn't exactly an easily understandable topic. Also, it can hardly be considered entertaining enough to keep the attention of a layman audience. So how did Chernobyl manage to do both, that too with so much success? I think the answer lies in a single word. Theme. What the writers of Chernobyl have managed to achieve to perfection is crafting the story around a solid, ironclad and universally relatable theme. Before we go further with this video, let's first understand what theme actually means. In his book Story, Robert McKee says, a true theme is one clear, coherent sentence that expresses a story's irreducible meaning. The more beautifully you shape your work around one clear idea, the more meanings audiences will discover in your film as they take your idea and follow its implications into every aspect of their lives. So, what is the theme at the center of Chernobyl? What are they really trying to say? What do you want, Boris? If it's true that we're dead, a million people are dead, is that what you need to hear? I think there's graphite on the ground, in the rubble. You didn't see graphite? I did. You didn't? You didn't! Because it's not there! In situations of extreme distress, like this one, it's easier to go into denial and to refuse to look at the truth in the face. It's easier to believe a comforting story or a lie. These rods are made of boron, which reduces reactivity, but not the tips. The tips are made of graphite, which accelerates reactivity. Why? Why? It's cheaper. No one in the room that night knew the shutdown button could act as a detonator. They didn't know it because it was kept from them. The cost of telling the truth is heavy. Reputations at stake, carrying blame and crushing responsibility. 
I'll go after your family. I'll go after your friends. You have a chance to talk to the world, Valeri. If that chance was mine. But it isn't, is it? And so, it's easier to lie. Chernobyl makes a strong case for this, but then goes on to challenge it. When the truth offends, we, we lie and lie until we can no longer remember it. It is even there, but it is still there. Every lie we tell incurs a debt to the truth. Sooner or later, that debt is paid. And that right there is the theme, the controlling idea at the heart of Chernobyl. While the cost of telling the truth may be heavy, the cost of telling a lie is much more. That is how an RBMK reactor core explodes. Lies. The writers treat their technical plot question with a human answer. To always be honest. The cost of lies is deadly. A nuclear explosion. The truth will always surface. The truth is always there. Right now, we live in a time where there is essentially a global assault on the truth. It's hard to say that, for instance, the climate is changing and threatening our existence. It's much easier to say, or is it? It doesn't seem like that way today. Well, you can do that for a while, but eventually the truth catches up. Eventually it does. We cannot hide from it. And Chernobyl to me is a story about what happens when people put lies above the truth. This is why I think Chernobyl was able to establish a connection with its viewers. It could have easily turned into a boring technical show obsessed with the spectacle of the nuclear explosion. Instead, it focuses on a simple universal truth. Don't lie. Dishonesty does not pay. The truth doesn't care about our needs or wants. It doesn't care about our governments, our ideologies, our religions. It will lie in wait for all time. And this, at last, is the gift of Chernobyl. Where I once would fear the cost of truth, now I only ask, what is the cost of lies? HBO's Chernobyl is so much more because it depicts the consequences of a lie. It shows us that yes, telling the truth may be the hardest thing you'll ever have to do, but it is in every way better than telling a lie. Hi everyone, thank you so much for watching. Um, this is the first of what I hope would be a series of videos. I hope you really liked this. And if you did, oh, please do like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. Also, I wear glasses. I just didn't for this video because of the, the glare.